Welcome back to Return to Boletaria, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and in the last episode, we left off right here in front of the Fall Gate that leads to the Fool's Idol, which is the first boss in the Tower of Latria. However, before we step through these gates, we have a little bit of unfinished business, a couple things we need to tend to before we set foot through that Fall Gate. The biggest concern, obviously, being we gotta get rid of that guy that keeps reviving the boss because we have to be able to kill her. And I believe the way to that guy should be right up these steps. We're gonna follow the opposite side, up top, where I was admiring the landscape last time. And we'll also be able to drop down and get that item that was kind of lingering around at the top of the screen at the very beginning. I'm sure you saw it. Okay, yeah. Now we're on the appropriate side to get to our problematic foe. Who can change the boss fight completely. So there should be a break up here that allows us to get to that. Yeah, right there, but we're not going to do that. There's no need to have to run up here twice. We'll take care of this guy first. We'll get that thing on the way back. All right. So you always, always want to take care of this guy before you do this boss, because it can get real bad if you don't. Don't miss this key behind him either. It's the special key, which should take us to Frake's cage. It should unlock Frake. What? What do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. Yeah, he says that, but uh, his entire prerogative, hence he's looming right over the boss fight, is to give us problems. Alright, so here's a really cool detail I want to point out on this part, is you see these little bubbles, like these, uh, these magical rings that look kind of like puffs of smoke. If you, I can't prove this, but I feel like anybody who listens to Alex Rowe and his music, he does like Souls game remix soundtracks and stuff. He makes really excellent music. I've used his music in my videos before. I think that these right here were actually an inspiration for his most recent album that he came out with. The one that has like All For One and stuff like that. The Awesome Dark Souls 3 remix because if you look at it over top of this stained glass here, the colors and the shape and everything is very similar to the album artwork that he has on that album. So... Sorry, pal, I can't let you live. It might be your prerogative to fuck with me during the boss fight, but it's my prerogative to kill you. So now that he's out of the way, his fiendish magic will not bother us. We've put a stop to it. And now we're going to drop down and grab this guy right here. I always mess this up. Forgive me if I don't make it. But, ha! What do you know? In the Widow's Lotus. Is it the most important thing in, in the world? No, but it'll do wonders for us, that's for sure. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to smash this boss big time. And I always like the cutscene. So you get the really pretty stained glass. And that's the same picture that was up top with the other guy, just a smaller version of it. And you have the fool's idol who descends down from the top. Very cool looking boss. Let's take care of her, shall we? We only need to get rid of this guy, really. The other ones aren't going to bother us so much. You must die. And I'll pick this up. Just because. Baby's, ma baby's nail, it's one of our first, what you call it. Alright, get rid of this one. No, it's actually not the right one, okay. So... You really, really have to watch out 
that's the one, the one that fires the big one. You really have to watch out for those little uh, symbols. Just one more! Right there, those symbols. Can't step on them, they're bad. Nope. Alright, where's the big one? I think it's right there. Aha! Shit. <laughs> this is the same thing that the mind players use. Fuck. Die. Get bonked. I don't know what's so funny. You got trashed. We'll pick up these little lingering items. Don't want to figure out our nice little soul items. Just little goodies here and there. We got this guy way over here in the corner, too. Some old spice. Not super important, especially for this character. This build in particular that we're doing isn't going to need spice for anything, except second chance, maybe. And that's if I decide to go that route, which I'd be smart to. And then if you step near the end, you get this cutscene, and I always recommend you grab Baby's Nail beforehand if you want it. Because you can't grab it unless you come back after sitting through the cutscene initially. It's always better to grab it during the boss fight. So this part, I'm interested in comparing this part to the remastered version because the trailer for the Demon Souls remake has this part in particular shown on it. Now FromSoft really has a thing for these gargoyles in these Souls games because you have this happening in Demon Souls. And they kept it pretty similar in the remake, but then in Dark Souls and Dark Souls 3, both, you have the White Gargoyles, which I suppose their technical name is Demons. You have them picking you up in both of those games and transporting you to various locations. Like, uh, that very first level after Lothric Tower. Oh man, the memories are coming back. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the Demon Souls energy. It's great. Alright, let's head back to the Nexus. I won't blow too much time at the Nexus. I probably will just level up with our souls, repair our equipment, and then we will be heading even further into the Tower of Latria because I'm really enjoying the atmosphere. It's super enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. And I think that's where we're going to keep going. I could go into the Shrine of Storms, but I don't know. I think I'm looking forward to this next part of the Tower of Latria that has the gargoyles and the giant demon heart and stuff like that. I so let's repair these. I... So I'm trying to think about the Claymore. I really like the Claymore a lot. And I would like to turn it into a crushing claymore. But I don't think I want to do that just yet. Because I'll have to de-upgrade it. I would have to take it all the way back down to plus three. I think, to make it a crushing claymore. And I think with the amount of strength that I have right now, that just might not be the answer. Do come... All right, where are you, Maiden in Black? Where the hell is she? There she is. Yes, I seek soul power. Um. I kind of want more damage, to be honest. Okay. So, how much do I need to level up again? Okay, I only need like a few thousand souls, so why don't we do this? We'll just... Alright. Use this guy. That's 8,000. Do this 
storied hero soul. And then I'll just equip... I'll equip that soul item. Get rid of that, get rid of that. That. And that. So let's see. We'll level up one time. <clears throat> Bring that up. So we need basically about 10,000 souls per level now. So we'll do this. See if that'll get us two levels. Bring up our strength once. And the rest of this shit. We're good. I'm gonna blow through these souls real quick. I know this is taking a second. I don't want this to take forever, but we'll level up just one more time. And give us a nice, like, 32 strength, which should be great. Should be enough, right? The soul of yeah. the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, All right. drawn from its vessel. Out, out. He used just enough. 32 strength. Should hit pretty hard with this thing. If we two-hand it, where are we at? 380 damage. Not bad. And then the claymore, I would imagine. 234, so yeah, this is the, for sure the strongest weapon we have, but consequently, it is the slowest weapon we have, so we're going to have to take real care with it. Now, from what I remember, I think the gargoyles are pretty resilient to slash damage. I believe they are weak to thrust damage. I do love my my butcher bunk. I like it a lot. Come on down, pals. Which one of yous is real? None? Okay. Usually you can tell which ones are real because you can lock onto them. And I usually like to have the bow. Let's see. I'll keep the telescope on. Just so we can admire. We have plenty of arrows, which is good. Wow, the brightness. It is dark as hell. There's no items on these initial corpses. You can see plenty of items off in the distance, though. Once we start this level. Alright, there's no turning back now. So... Let me see. I'm gonna try to pick at this guy real quick. Yeah. Come on over, pal. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come to me. What? Come here. Normally he'll come right to you. Huh. Weird. That's fine, I guess. Renowned hero soul. There's no going back now. It is time. Alright, this guy, he's got glowy eyes. That means he is one of the ones who will fight. Hey, come on now. Okay, not bad for a pulling weapon. Like, 58 damage isn't bad. Not for pulling. Yeah. 
you bastard. Come here. Alright, so I guess we're going to find out firsthand if this thing does well against these guys. And their weapon that they use, their rapier, it is a magic casting weapon. It's pretty cool. Okay, we one shot him. I'm not scared of shit. And yeah, there it is. You can see it in pretty good detail right there. The th it's called the thorn. The thorn, or the not the thorn. Um, the spiral rapier. I think it's called. It's been a very long time since I've used it or seen it. Now you'll have to excuse me if I uh, every time I try to examine a corpse if I accidentally roll or something because my fingers are definitely like I have monster hunter thumbs right now big time Ooh. Ooh. bounced off of my shield didn't you pal Wow, what do you know? I, you know, I even had that lingering feeling. I was like, I literally never get this thing every time I try to get it on a playthrough. <laughs> Wouldn't you know, I'll get it on the character that I don't want to use it on. A rare appear with spiral grooves carved into the blade. It is the weapon of choice of the stone gargoyles in Latria. It is meant to inflict pain and cause bleeding rather than deal damage, which provides a glimpse into the insanity of the old monk. So he gave these guys a weapon that is just meant to hurt you really bad, not kill you. Sounds like some Joker shit, man. That weapon, though, let me look at it one more time. It has like a magical property to it. I remember you can either you can use it to cast spells or something like that. I don't remember. big giant ass demon heart we're gonna have to do something about it and we've got really really ambient noises in this place I think those are the kicker for me like the thing that makes this place most memorable for sure is definitely the ambient noises I don't need any other weapon or I don't need any other items Oil and drop down and fuck my day up. I'm certain they will. No, maybe not. Gimme. Shard of Moonlight Stone. Not something I want to use, but that's okay. And that, yeah, don't mind the frame rate dropping whenever I try to break shit. It's just part of this dated game engine. You. Damn, we are shitting on these dudes. I can't one-shot them. Even with a two-handed strong attack, I cannot one-shot them, but that's okay. We don't need to. We don't want it to be too easy, right? Because, like, the biggest part, the biggest part I was looking forward to in this playthrough was going to be, how challenging is it? I should really use the overhand attack for these pots and stuff because I'm just going to hit a wall otherwise. And we can't get through here because obviously there's a giant demon heart in the way, but that's alright. Let's head further down in this direction. And I hope this comes through okay. Like, I hope this... This guy, he always runs backwards, too. Fucker. Come here. No! Come here. I can do it, too, man. I got a pew-pew on me. Alright. And for once, I could care less if I don't get to loot the corpse of the gargoyles, because I know that so many playthroughs I've done at this game where I know it's time to try to farm that stupid spiral rapier because it's such a good weapon. It's something I like using, but not this time. I could care less this time. It's like the most 
empowering and relieving feeling. Can't break that. I wish you could break it. Because it's so out of place. Alright. So this is the reason I went this way first. Was because this is a dead end. I do not think that this is the side where Yurt is. He is the opposite direction. So now we're going to go back that way. So yeah, once again, I do hope that this picture comes out as well as it can. Once I get to editing and stuff like that before I post it, I will try to mess around with the brightness and stuff to make sure it's a crystal clear, enjoyable experience for you guys. You can hear the heartbeat, and you hear like that, that other weird noise looping, the ooh, like I can't describe it, but I like it. It's so good. And then the colors. The colors and the textures, too. Like, you can literally see, like, where this giant demon heart is, like, slime gripped to this pillar. And then you have all the little candles that follow upward. More of these flags, which... There's nothing on the flag. It's just a... It's a pike that has yellow wrap on it, which symbolizes the old monk because the the head wrap that turns him into a demon is in fact just a yellow wrapping okay so let's head over this way you can see that in the distance that chain that has all the crazy demon energy on it this level in particular, I will stop and pay attention to the most things, probably. Get the fuck out of my way, bro. Who you think you are? Give me that soul item. So far, I think every single one of these things we've killed has dropped something. off me. Damn Havoc engine. So that thing is a shortcut maybe. One of these things brings up Yurt. I know that for sure. Got the Flamberge. Some people pronounce it like I remember a long time ago. Let me know if this name rings a bell for any of you but I remember a long time ago there was a channel that I used to watch and his name was Athelion the Brave. He doesn't make videos anymore which is totally unfortunate because I really liked his channel. I used to watch him a lot back in the day alongside like Epic Name Bro and stuff. And Athelion the Brave did a Demon Souls playthrough that was great. His playthrough of Demon Souls was excellent. And he pronounced the sword a Flamberge, and I always thought that was pretty cool. Alright, so like regular sword wielding ones. Sorry, pal. This thing has hyper armor. You're not going to want to trade with me. Um, regular ones that wield the rapier take 58 damage per arrow, whereas the ones with the crossbows seem to have less defense. They take 68. Oh, man. I can, I guess I can win a, a trade in the speed department as long as I one hand this thing, but they have to have enough health left for me to be able to just whack them. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this thing is nerve wracking to get. I always am horrified that I'm going to fall on this part because it's happened enough times. <laughs> it's like, uh,. It's not unwarranted fear. And then some of them, these black clouds that we walk through in this level, like these little patches of steam or smoke or whatever, these black clouds, they are really coming through well. And I know some of these guys are gonna sneak up on us on a couple parts of this level. Like that guy, oh, come on, man. 
Where are you going? <laughs> well, that was easy. I'll be at an awkward angle. It got the job done. <gasps> Whew. You want to know a thing or two about butt clench? I was feeling it right there. That would have been death for sure. this item. Nice little stone of ephemeral eyes. And then we'll take this thing up. I think we're doing alright. It's not doing... It's not going too bad on this level right now. It's pretty easy. Um, okay. I have hyper armor though. What are you doing? Clown. He really thought he could beat me with this thing? Yeah, right. Alright, so now it's one of the cooler parts of this level. These guys, it's just like yellow energy that's coming from them. And it's hard to really tell what's going on here, but you have these statues, right? These statues, these are different than the other statues we've run into. They look like gargoyles that have had their wings torn off, but they're holding up this giant lord vessel type thing that has, like, kind of strange Celtic-looking design to it. Like, that's what it looks to me. It looks like Gaelic or Celtic or something. Definitely cool. But you see the giant chain link running through it. So these guys are responsible for the crazy, glowing, yellow chain links that we scouted earlier. And we have to kill these guys in order to stop the ritual. All right. Oh no, did I do that? Oops. Grab these. It's giving us lots and lots of Moonlight Stone. And I mean tons of it. And then we can't go all the way up here. It'll block us at a certain point because it'll be a tendency event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't go all the way up here just yet. We do not have the correct tendency. Otherwise, there'd be like a plank here that we could go across. That could take us all the way up there where we could get... It's... It's Ridiel's weapon... Phosphorant Staff, I think it's called. It's pretty damn cool. It's definitely... Oh, yeah, there's those little colorful stones. That's where Yurt is. Can't wait. And we have a couple more gargoyles, right? Somewhere. I could have swore there was at least one more before we deal with him. All right. Pick this guy up. Lots of spice. Why? I don't need that shit, bro. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Woohoo. Alright, I'm not going over there to deal with him just yet. I'm actually going to unlock this shortcut. I think it should be a shortcut, right? Let's see where it takes us. And then there's the other one, too. This is going to take us down to the freaky part of the level. We get to deal with all of the, like, mutants and the failed experiments. And then there's lots of poison. All right. Cool. I'll take the other one back up. Oh, there's one. They make such weird noises too, like when you kill them. It's very strange. I think the the other monster 
that makes the same exact noise as them is the the fire breathing dragon fly looking things inside blight town in dark souls the things that walk around in the poison swamp okay so let's talk to yurdy yurdy boy yurdy boy yurdy 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 fuck would want to set you free, man. The only reason I'm even gonna mess with you is because I want your armor. That's it. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. Fight them? No. I want to kill them. Name that reference for five points. That one's a little bit more obscure. Like, you would have to really, really like the anime that that's from in order to know what it is. But just don't get me wrong, it's a popular anime. A ton of people like it, but stop walking, man. Do I have the item burden to pick up his armor? Probably. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. I'll let you go back to the Nexus for now. For now. Now let's just write it down. I'll see you back at the Nexus, yurt. Now we get to go to, like, the fun part of this level. Also the stressful part because there's poison and a couple different freaky enemies that aren't exactly easy to deal with and they will totally ruin your day in numbers, so you have to pick them off pretty quick. I'm confident, though. I think we'll be able to kill these things pretty easily with this butcher knife. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we cannot one-shot them. That's okay. Shit, that was supposed to be a two. See, what that? Half my damn health. Oh. Ignore that noise. That's... Ooh, I wonder if I'll even be able to get rid of that sound. You can probably hear that clear as day. My PlayStation 3 has suddenly turned into a jet engine. I shit you not, it is a jet turbine right now. Okay. Figures we can one-shot that one, because, I mean, he's puny. Good lord, that's loud. I really hope I can get rid of that when I go through this and edit my audio. Okay, I'll tell you what's real stressful in this level and I don't want to miss is the lizards. Those noises. So we have disease resistance ring now, which is great. We're going to need that later. Not right now. And there's nowhere to go from here. Holy shit, that's loud. I wish it would stop. So now we gotta go this way. Oh no, my frame rate. Maybe it's difficult for my PlayStation to keep up with old Demon Souls because it's been so long. Go ahead and grab this. Wow, the frame rate is really struggling right now. Bummer. Okay. Yikes. It is not having fun right now. And you thought Blight Town was the only place that had frame rate issues? Nope. It is just as bad here. Okay. I don't want to go up there yet. I'm going to go take this guy out over here. Here we go. Thank 
thank goodness. Thank goodness we do plenty of damage, because I tell you, this place would just be a whole nother level of annoying if we weren't able to beat these guys so easily. I remain thankful. Alright, so let's kill this guy. Got a couple items that we need to grab. Scattered throughout this place. So let's get this, the fragrant ring. And I'll look at these things after we grab all of it. Where were the other items? I know I saw them glowing in the distance. There we go. Oh, great. Probably the easiest way to deal with this guy. Is this. I knew as soon as I get near him, it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> He's got a cooldown period, that's funny. Alright. We've got a shard of mercury. Two shards of mercury stone from that guy. More shards of mercury stone. Don't care about that. Okay, I'll grab this. A chunk of mercury stone, just in case we want a poison weapon. Which we don't. Alright, that should be just about everything on the ground level. I wouldn't be too worried if I missed a thing or two either, because be honest with you, there's not a whole lot in this level that I'm concerned with. There's not really hardly anything I need. I just enjoy playing the level. That's what it is for me. Okay, that's just a... I thought that was an enemy that was trapped in there. That was strange. Okay, now it's time to head up. Yeah, we're heading up that way. We do have crystal lizards coming up soon, and I really, really don't want to miss them. So we're going to have to focus. What was that? Oh. Hi there. Man, the noises they make are strange. Okay, I have the thief ring on, so I should be able to sneak up on these lizards. Nice. Alright. So we can handle these guys. I suppose it's alright. That's blocked. Now we've got this guy to deal with. Okay. And we got a few items. moon grass because it knows it knows we're gonna have a hard time all right let's enter this fog gate and we are in it now ladies and gentlemen all right so I'm actually gonna kill this episode now because uh, my PlayStation 3 being a jet turbine is kind of starting to concern me I don't want it to force close and ruin my entire clip or anything like that so as a precaution I'm just going to end this one here and we'll continue right where we left off here in the Tower of Latria first thing we'll do next episode is creep our way up this level so we can get the other the other chain link to sink this heart and then we'll get to the man-eaters we'll kill some lizards while we're at it but 
Thank you guys so much for joining me again on Return to Baltaria. It's been a great adventure. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.